A protest is planned over the unusually short red snapper season. While many are frustrated with the federal government for making the season so short, a feud is brewing between charter boat and recreational fishermen. News 5's Catrice Nolan explains. Both charter and recreational fishermen tell me they are upset over the red snapper season being cut short, but charter fishermen tell me if recreational fishermen protest here on June 4th, they say it will become an even bigger problem. It's the talk of the dock among recreational and charter fishermen. A protest planned after a three-day federal red snapper season ends on June 4th at Perdido Pass. That's the great thing about our country is they have the right to protest as long as it's a peaceful protest. Um, you know, I f fully wholeheartedly support them. Nothing wrong with the protest. I hope it's peaceful and doesn't mess up commerce or, or cause anybody, you know, unsafe conditions. But many charter fishermen contend if the protest blocks the Perdido Pass where they work, it will cause an issue. I hope they don't block the pass. Um, you know, we're just out here working, trying to make a living, uh, provide for our families. Um, so, I mean, my gut feeling says these guys aren't going to block the pass. This was the scene at a council meeting in Orange Beach last week where fishermen all voiced their opinion and the city ended up issuing a proclamation against the three-day season. But for now, the season is set and come June 4th, everyone is hoping there is a peaceful assembly of charter and recreational fishermen. We've got to get the message to the fishery council, to the politicians. It's not, fishermen don't need to fight against fishermen. Reporting on Orange Beach, Catrice Nolan, News 5. Recreational fishermen do have a 69-day season in state waters, but that only goes out nine miles. The three-day federal fishing season starts on June 1st. Again, that protest is set for June 4th at Perdido Pass.